Hey everybody, Greg here. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, I'm having to put all the movies on a hold for a few weeks. I'm estimating about two weeks. Uh, not sure. Uh, could be longer. I don't know. Um, the uh, the reason for that is that uh, Movie Pass, the service that allows me to see all these movies uh, for a very cheap price, has decided that uh, they no longer <laughs> they no longer want me around. Um, the reason for that is I've uh, I don't have a expensive phone. I don't have an iPhone. I don't have an Android phone. I have a pay-as-you-go Go phone, uh, the cheap smartphone model, uh, because I don't, because I'm not a rich motherfucker, and so I've been accessing MoviePass through their mobile site, uh, which they have now decided they are no longer going to support. Uh, you can now only access MoviePass through an iPhone or Android app, and I can't afford to buy a new phone. I can't afford a new service. Um, so I just can't use them anymore. And I'm currently talking to them about it, and uh, they are currently struggling uh, to... Uh, they want... Let's be clear here. I did nothing. Right? There's nothing on my end that's different than it was for the last three months. Uh, they have just decided they are no longer going to support my means of using their service. And they still want me to pay the cancellation fee, which is $60, which is, well, bullshit. I'm uh, currently working with them on that. Um... I'm not terribly enthusiastic. Uh, so yeah. So I can't use Movie Pass, which makes running all the movies very difficult. Now, I am currently working on an alternative means of getting to see movies cheaper. Uh, which is basically uh, become friends with someone at the movie theater and have them get me in for free, which is I've already got a foot in the door in on that, but um, that, that doesn't work. Then uh, if I cannot manage to see movies cheaper, then what all the movies is going to become is instead of reviewing all new releases, there will it'll just be one movie review a uh, a week. The big, probably the big or most interesting movie released that week. Um, which sucks, because uh, one of the best things about this whole thing was discovering uh, films I never would have given a second thought. Uh, you know, I probably never would have seen Jack Reacher if I didn't start doing this project. I wouldn't have seen End of Watch or uh, or this week's film, which I'm I'm gonna get to. Um, so if if it comes to that, uh, you can expect a more up to date uh, release schedule, like. I could probably move uh, the release up to, say, a Wednesday, uh, which would be a bit more uh, a bit more relevant as opposed to a week and a day after the film was released. Uh, but again, uh, if I can pull off these other means, um, then all the movies will just continue as normal. Um, this This really sucks, guys. Well, I won't leave you guys hanging too much, because uh, I will discuss the one film I did manage to get to see this week. Uh, Warm Bodies, the uh, the new zombie romantic comedy thing. And you know what? It really, really surprised me. It was really, really good. Um, is it a little cornball? Yeah, yeah. Um, but 
first off, it, it's completely and absolutely genuine with what it's trying to be. Uh, first off, this is not really a cash-in on Twilight. It, it's not even really a parody of Twilight. It's just incidentally a film about a girl and a monster falling in love. Uh, but it's not forced, and it's not made to cash in on that. Uh, you can, it, it seems like the filmmakers and the actors and all this stuff really wanted to do this right. You know, a little silly, but really genuine and emotional. Also, it's probably the first... Uh, the first is... I think, you know, I'm not a zombie purist in that I think everything has to be Romero. But uh, even Romero had semi-happy endings. Occasionally, he'll end his characters up on a tropical island or something like that. And I feel like, uh, you know, zombies have kind of become this nihilistic, uh, very negative thing where it's just absolutely hopeless and there's, it's all about the, uh, the nihilism and the, the darkness of it all. And, you know, it, it, and seeing an optimistic a zombie film is actually really refreshing. And I don't consider it a, a betrayal to the concept of zombies at all. Um, I think... Uh, I think it's actually an incredibly uplifting film. I th it's a... It's, well, it's a film I could have totally wish I saw after all this shit came on me. It's a, it's a film that makes you feel like, you know... You know, yeah, shit sucks. It's a zombie apocalypse. But it can get better... You know, humanity is never doomed. It can improve. It can get better. And it's uh, it's a kind of genuine, optimistic message that you know you don't see too often. And I wish you did more. And it's not hokey. I mean, it's corny, but it's not hokey. It's not fake. It's also, a really, really well-made film. Really, really well shot. Um, really well acted. I, I really like the soundtrack. They kind of got a, a classic rock soundtrack going on. Well, not like 70s, but the... Uh, uh, they... Uh, about the only weakness is uh, John Malkovich is on... Uh, it, as Lindsay Ellis, the nostalgia chick, put it on his uh, really frustrated with waiters at, what was it, Applebee's or Olive Garden or something. And uh, he's totally in that mode, but he's not too much in the film. And I really love this film. In fact, up to this point, I would, I mean, I know the year is young, I know, but I would say this is my favorite film of the year. I'm not joking. And, uh, I think you should all go see it. Yeah, I give it a two thumbs up, five stars. Well, maybe not five stars, but you know whatever will get you to go see it because it's it is the best film in the theaters right now. Unless you've got unless you're still like got Django Unchained or Zero Dark Thirty in there or something. Um, it's the best new movie. Uh, the best film of 2013 thus far. I mean, we still got. Eight and a half, no, no, not even that. It was, I can't do math. Eleven and a half, ten and a half. Math, I don't know it. Ten and a half months of the year to go, and I'm sure there's going to be, hopefully there'll be at least ten films that are better than this, but I still give it very, very enthusiastic recommendation. So until then, um, I don't know if I'll be able to catch up. I don't know if I'll be able to review Bullet to the Head or identity theft or uh, side effects I'm, I'm definitely going to go out of my way to see side effects I think I'll pay cash for that so um, so until I can get this all sorted out uh, you know, thanks for sticking with me and I hope to be providing material soon and this is a and uh, this is not going to affect any of my other releases next week um, I hope to have the next requested review up. Sorry, I've had such a long gap between them. Um, and hopefully we can get this show back on track. 
Uh, thank you. This is Greg, and I'm out.